Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic day after the July 4th weekend. Uh, today's video, I want to address a question that's been popping up pretty frequently on this channel here. Uh, that question is, should I learn Swift UI instead of UI Kit in 2019? Well, my answer to this question is uh, definitely no. I don't think you should learn Swift UI over UI Kit because right now Swift UI is still in beta, won't be officially released until the end of sometime around September. Uh, normally every year Xcode gets released in some kind of GM version around September 16th or September 17th. So wait until then to kind of see what the final APIs look like. Now, is Swift UI a great piece of technology? Well, of course it is. And I myself, I'm very excited about it to see uh, what's possible in the future. However, because Swift UI only supports iOS 13 and above, it won't be a good solution for at least very large businesses until maybe iOS 14 or even iOS 15. So the uh, next question I want to answer is what if I don't care about devices on iOS 12, right? Well, if you don't care so much about older devices, I think Swift UI is a pretty viable solution for, you know, things like startups that want to move very, very quickly. So for example, if you have some kind of prototype idea that you just want to test out and build out to see if it's an actual feasible project for the market, uh, then Swift UI I think is a plausible solution. Uh, remember, adoption rate for iOS is fairly quick. At least it's much quicker than Android due to not having uh, device fragmentation. Now moving on to the third question, what if you're a student, right? Well, if you're a student and you're planning on taking mobile development courses for maybe some kind of well-known university, I think it's most likely that the instructor will be teaching the course in plain UI kit. I think most colleges now have moved on from uh, teaching Objective-C and they're now teaching uh, complete Swift only, which is a good thing. Uh, furthermore, with Swift UI, uh, you'll still need to learn plain old Swift, right? Uh, anything that doesn't have to deal with UI is still written out in plain Swift. So for example, if you're making a lot of network calls, if you want to interact with the combined framework, which is pretty new, or if you want to structure your entire code base using one of the famous architectures like MVC, MVVM, MVP, or Viper, and so on and so forth, uh, you'll still have to type all this stuff out in plain old Swift. And something else that's also interesting is that once you learn everything in Swift, all these skills are transferable, whether or not you want to use UIKit or Swift UI. Okay, so finally, uh, now that we mentioned transferability, uh, did you know that you can use plain UI view controller uh, components? You can use them in Swift UI by just simply providing a container view. So you don't really have to worry about having to use a 100% Swift UI or 100% UI kit. You can pretty much mix and match all of your components together very, very easily with all of the available APIs that Apple has provided for us. Uh, if you really want to experiment with Swift UI, maybe with the current project that you have in UI Kit, uh, what you can also do is just start building out small features that aren't exactly core to the business. Build, build out these small components using Swift UI and then start to integrate those views inside of your UI Kit project and see how that goes before you fully commit to the migration process. All right, so these are just my very quick thoughts on this question of whether or not you should learn Swift UI for the future. Uh, it's still very early days for Swift UI in 2019, July 6th. So make sure you learn uh, what's best for you. If you're really looking for a job as an iOS developer, uh, you most likely want to learn either Swift UI Kit or Objective-C UI Kit. Swift UI is still a while away. All right, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that thumbs up. If you have any other questions that are kind of popping up frequently uh, when you're studying Swift, make sure to leave those questions down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.